Hello friends, Coach Mike here again in the Coach's Corner. Great to see you. All right, you have a commercial audition. Do this next. All right, next step to take after you've secured an audition, you submitted yourself for it, your, your agent submitted you for it. Do this next. All right, YouTube the name of the product. Even if it's McDonald's, just still, I, you've heard about the Golden Arches your whole life. Still, YouTube the product, all right? You want to familiarize yourself more with the product. I, even if it's McDonald's, there's certain things that you still may need to know or learn, discover about the McDonald's brand that may be posted in other YouTube commercials. Or you can go and also you can go to iSpot.tv, the letter I, S-P-O-T, spot, dot, TV, iSpot.tv, not dot com, but dot TV. All right, especially for uh, some of those crazy name pharmaceuticals that you don't know how to pronounce and what is that? I don't even know what it is. That's really when you want to YouTube it so you can discover a bit more about what you're going to be auditioning for. It familiarizes you with the product name, with the brand. Again, pronunciation, really important. Last thing you want to do is go on an audition and show them that you couldn't even be respectful enough to learn how the product is pronounced. Uh, Belzephor or whatever, some blood pressure medication. Who knows? You want to know how to pronounce it. Also, you can take a look at the style of clothing that they wear uh, in the spot. Usually you'll recognize some type of P&G, Procter & Gamble, pattern uh, that's expressed in the style of clothing that they wear, uh, different types of colors that they wear, right? Now, in the audition notice, it's going to say dress upscale casual, nice casual, at-home casual, outdoor casual, business casual, casual. It's good. They should tell you hip casual. Uh, they have different languages or styles of clothing. Right. If you don't know what that means, hey, may, that style of clothing, the way it's languaged in the audition notice, then maybe if you go online, you can take a look if you YouTube it or iSpot.tv it. OK, also Google the casting director's name. See, and put put in a casting director's name and put forward slash blog. See if they blog. See, isn't that brilliant? I don't care how many books you read, folks. You may not get the information you're getting here from your coach. Google them. You're going to learn the do's and don'ts that that casting director gives specifics to. Right? Sometimes the casting director likes it this way. They like it that way. And at least you can get a bit of insight as to what they like and they don't like if you Google the casting director's name and put forward slash blog. It'll take you to some information where maybe they don't blog or, uh, or maybe they write somewhere else or somehow they revealed some information. Some do audio blogs for different companies when they do guesting, when they're a guest at a particular casting company, right, or a particular workshop company. So uh, you, you do yourself good to study, do a little bit of homework if you can on the casting director so you'll know what it is that they like and they don't like right? Possibly when you go into casting. Okay. So once again, you have a commercial audition. Do this next. Just a quick little, little light subject, little light insight. You're going to need it all. You need as much information, as many ideas as you can get your hands on to stand out in a casting. Really, really important. All right, friends, Coach Mike here in the Coach's Corner. Let's get ready for the next lesson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in a minute.